In July of 2010, I gave birth to my first son, five pounds, 10 ounces, happy baby boy. Um, he was born via emergency C-section. Um, I had preeclampsia, so leading up to that C-section, there was a lot, a lot going on. Um, and it was a lot to wrap my head around as a new mom. I had planned nine months for a natural birth. And, um, and the first night in my room, um, I was holding my son and he was crying and there was a nurse and um, I thought he was hot, so I started to undress him. And the nurse basically reprimanded me and she called to the nursery and she said, the mother is not fit to have the baby in the room. And he was taken from the room. And to have those words on the first night as a new mom or as at any point in your motherhood um, can be really um, can be can be really hard. Um, so the weeks and the months that followed um, his birth were tremendous for me. Uh, I had no idea what to expect. I had no idea what I was experiencing. Every interaction with him, I held those five words: "The mother's not fit. The mother's not fit." It delayed bonding with my son. Um, I never felt, I didn't understand the sadness that I felt when I was supposed to be happy. I didn't understand the anger that I felt when people were helping me. Um, it was, it was so much. I just, I didn't understand what was happening. It was not what I had pictured and it was definitely not what I had been told. Um, so it took about a year for me to realize that I was experiencing postpartum depression and anxiety. And, um, and then things started to get better. There were, re there were resources, um, people I could talk to. And um, in 2019, I shared my experience with postpartum depression on the TEDx stage. And after I shared that, there was such an outpouring of women and men in the community who knew a woman who had experienced postpartum depression. Um, a dad whose wife had locked herself in a room um, and he had to care for the baby, and they didn't know what was going on. Um, and these are these are tragic stories, um, and it doesn't have to be this way. You know, we we don't talk about postpartum depression and anxiety, and I I really don't understand why. That's why I'm talking about it right now. Um, that's why I created uh, Mission Motherhood. So I want to advocate for maternal mental health. Um, it's not something that a, a mother should be ashamed of. She should never feel alone. And as a community, we need to support our mothers. Uh, I created a Facebook page for mothers to learn about postpartum depression and anxiety. Um, we'll be starting support groups in the Parkview YMCA um, in September. And I have a great partnership with the Allen County Drug and Alcohol Consortium um, to identify opportunity gaps in the community um, where, where are we missing the target on helping moms with maternal mental health issues and substance use issues. Um, there's so much stigma surrounding both of those. Uh, we need to break it. So in our community alone, last year, 2019, Allen County, 4,767 babies were born. Um, one in seven mothers experience postpartum depression. That means there's almost 700 mothers in our community that are experiencing this. That's 10 busloads of mothers who don't understand their anger. They don't understand their sadness. They think that they're alone. And we need to support them as a community, as, our, as partners, as family, as sisters, brothers, and say, you're not alone. There is help, and you will get better. And I hope that you join me with Mission Motherhood in making that a reality for our community because we need to do better for our mothers.